I'm Kanata Masusoe. I'm 28. Today, I quit my job. Glad that's over with. I hated working there. Cheers. After college, I started working for this small design company with about 13 employees. I worked hard day and night. I worked really long hours. How many years have you been here, man? This idea sucks! I'm sorry. You're so useless! Ugh. You're holding us all behind! I'm sorry. But I wasn't very good at this job. My boss always yelled at me. He always told me how useless I was. Needless to say, that didn't help me with my self-esteem. I told you not to use this type of red! I need something that's more futuristic! What does that even mean? I'm gonna fix this! Watch and learn! You're one lucky guy! You get to learn from the best! I'm so useless. Without him, I can't do anything right. I just didn't have what it took to become a designer. Then one day, I just decided to quit. I no longer wanted to do this, and I handed in my letter of resignation without even thinking about it. And so now, I was out of a job. I gotta look for a new job. I'm not sure if I can find work in this economy, but at least I don't have to deal with my boss anymore. You okay there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. I quit my job today. I worked really hard at it, but... I just didn't have it in me, I guess. I see. What line of work were you in? I was a designer. I always wanted to be a graphic designer, ever since I can remember. This woman came up to me at the bar and started talking to me. I was pretty drunk, and I wanted someone to talk to, so I told her everything that happened. I told her all the horrible things my boss used to say to me, how he always looked down on me. He never said I'd never amount to anything. He always told me how useless I was. She was a very good listener. It was really easy to talk to her. It was nice having someone to talk to like this. I just went on and on, pouring my heart out. So last night, I decided to quit, to give it all up. I realized it was time for me to move on. I see. Sorry to hear all that. But if you ask me, you did the right thing leaving. Your boss sounds like a terrible person. <laughs> Screw him. I guess. But I just feel so pathetic, you know? And I feel so useless. Well, anyways, I guess I better start looking for a job. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Sure thing. Are you gonna keep working in the same industry? I don't know. I'd like to, but I'm not very good at it, so... I don't know. Well, if you want to keep working as a designer, why don't you come work for me? Huh? Here's my card. What? Sekafushi Graph? That's like the biggest design company in the country! Oh, you've heard of us. I'm Rui Niyama. I'm the CEO. Oh, no! Uh, I had no idea! I, I'm sorry for going on and on like that! It's okay, and I'm looking forward to new talent, so... Huh? But... I'm not talented! I don't know. I think I'm pretty good at spotting talent. That's half my job, so... When I see a design I like, I look up the designer, you know? I've seen your work. Huh? I know you can do it. That's why I offered you the job. So what do you say? Can you come work for me? But... Uh, I'm not very good at this, and... What on earth are you talking about? You're a good designer. I told you that. I'm sorry, but... 
And why are you apologizing? It's a simple yes or no question. Will you come work for me? Yes or no? Uh, yes, but I don't even have a resume yet. I'm sorry to hear about what you've been through. I really am. It couldn't have been easy. But now you're gonna work for me, so... First, you have to be more positive. Stop stating every sentence with but. And don't put yourself down. If you keep doing that, you'll bring everyone else down with you. Uh, sorry. And that. Stop apologizing so much. I got a lot to work on. Uh, uh. <sighs> Look, I'm sorry if I was a bit hard on you, but I know you're a good designer. I want you to be able to give 120%. I'm counting on you. Okay, thank you. I guess she really likes my work. Hopefully, I won't let her down. I'm nervous, but she was giving me another chance at this. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna give up. But maybe I'll give it a try one last time. So just like that, I got a new job. A few days later, it was my first day there. I was pretty nervous at first, but everyone there was really nice. I've seen your work before. You beat us in a competition several times. What? Oh, I didn't know that. You got such good taste. There are so many things I want to ask you. Oh, uh, sure. I guess. People here didn't yell at each other like at my old company. Everyone was really nice to each other. Everyone praised and encouraged each other. It was nothing like my old company. Everyone was friends with everyone here. We were like one big family. The CEO, she hates negative vibes and people who are jerks to others. We've had a few of them in the past, but they all either quit or cleaned up their act. But there are more than 50 people working here. You can't get along with everyone. I know, but that's no reason to be a jerk. It's impossible to befriend everyone, but that's fine. This is work, so you just have to put personal emotions aside. I see. So nobody talks about others behind their backs? Well, sometimes it happens, but our CEO is really strict about that, so <laughs> it rarely happens. She told me about what your last company was like. Yeah, I had no idea there was a company like this. I should have switched companies years ago. <laughs> yeah. Well, come on. Let's go back to work. Ouch! Miss Niyama. She's such a great leader. And everyone here is so nice. I want to be like them, too. I don't want to let them down. I really enjoyed working with these people. I was no longer depressed at work like before. I also got a haircut. I couldn't remember the last time I got a haircut, but it felt really nice. My colleagues loved my new look. They said I looked much better with shorter hair. I was really loving it here. Hey, how have you been? Great, thank you. I love working here. Ever since I started working here, new ideas just keep popping into my head. Do you want to take a look? Sure, I was about to have a meeting with Hanamura-san. She wanted me to look over her design, so we can talk afterwards. Oh, okay. Hey, can I join you guys? I'd like to look at Hanamura-san's work, if that's okay. Sure thing. Miss Niyama was a designer herself, so she was always looking over our design and giving us advice. Sometimes she's strict, but I really like spending time with her. She makes me feel so good about myself. But sometimes she can be a bit clumsy, which is kind of cute. <laughs> what are you smiling about? 
Can't wait to see how Numberta's sons work, huh? Yeah! I really like working with you! <gasps> I'm so glad I ran into her at that bar that night. There's a big design competition coming up. I want to win first prize and make her proud. I love seeing her smile. What did he just say? Uh, maybe I heard him wrong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that must be it. A few months later, I entered a big design competition, and I won first prize! I was really proud of myself, and so was Miss Niyama. That night, she offered to take me out for drinks to celebrate, but then... Ha! <laughs> you got lucky, loser! Settle down! <sighs> lucky? What are you talking about? The vote was unanimous. Ah, I don't know who you are, but this guy's useless! He was always holding us back! There's no way- You must be Rokuya Omote, his old boss. Not sure why you think he's useless, but he's actually one of my best employees. He rarely makes a mistake, and he's a great designer. I've been a big fan of his work for years, actually. So when I heard he quit his old company, I offered him a job immediately, and it was the best decision I've ever made. I can't imagine my company without him. Miss Niyama! But he wasn't like this when I hired him. He was giving off such negative vibes. Huh? But it wasn't his fault. My guess is, someone was jealous of his talent. So they tormented and yelled at him for years, hoping he'd lose his confidence. I'm talking about you, Emoto-san. You've always been jealous of him, haven't you? What? No! Who the hell are you? Don't push it! I gotta say something. Hey! Stop being rude! She's the CEO of Sekafushi Graph! What? Wait. I... Oh... I think we've met before. Would you like my card? Uh, no thank you. I better go! <sighs> okay. Come on then. Let's go. Okay, uh, bye, Omote-san. It was nice seeing you. Ugh, he changed. What the hell happened to him? Ugh. I'm so glad I ran into you at that bar that night. Working for you was the best decision I've ever made. So thank you. Sure thing. I had no idea it was you at first, but I'm glad I ran into you too. And all my employees love you, so I'm really glad I hired you. <laughs> Thanks. Everyone at your company is so nice and supportive. I don't want to let them down, you know? And whenever I talk to you, you give me a boost of confidence. I think that's why I've been doing so well lately. <laughs> Good to hear. I'm gonna work ever so hard and make you proud. Well, that's good and all, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? There's more to life than work, so take some time to enjoy life outside of work, too. But this is the only thing I like to do. I've always wanted a girlfriend, but I don't know. No girl would go out with me. Well, if you want, maybe I can keep you company? What? You mean, you'll spend time with me on the weekends, too? Sure, if that's what you want. That would be great! I'd love to hang out with you on the weekends, but you sure? <laughs> I think I already like you. I'll probably end up falling in love with you. Well, yeah, that was the point. Ugh, he's so straightforward sometimes. That's... <laughs> what I like about him. That must be a great company to work for. Looking down on others never leads to anything good. 
It's always better to try and better yourself by encouraging and learning from others. Hope you guys liked today's episode. Please let me know what you thought in the comment sections below. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.